Rushview Coat Watches and Things, Merkel Ocean Master. Let's take a minute or two to look through this one. I have had this one for a year and a bit, so a nice, uh, a nice time to kind of look back on those 15, 16 months and go all about. If you haven't seen it, um, this is Merkel's take on the kind of Seiko Turtle, although it's a bit beefed up, a bit XL. Forty across the bezel, forty-three and a half across the case, forty-seven and a bit lug to lug, fourteen mil thick to a lovely dome sapphire, twenty-two mil lugs. This is uh, not the original strap. This is the original strap, branded, fantastic. Um, Material really soft. But to be honest, I don't really like these kind of crenellated rubber straps, so I don't wear it on that. I have it on a tropic, just a cheap one. 110 grams on this strap. 300 meter water resistance. Um, that has helped along the way with a screw down case back, stainless steel, screw down crown, stainless steel. Stainless steel case, stainless steel bezel. The bezel is, as you can see, bicolored. It is sapphire insert. It does have a nice action. There is a little bit of it'll fall back into shape. But when it does, it's rock solid. There's no up and down play. There's no, no play whatsoever on the bezel. You see, it just knocks back that kind of half a tick. And I would say lines up pretty well. That screw down case back is engraved really well. That's quite prominent actually, but totally smooth. It's a good look. Uh, crown is 6.8 mil. Interesting that the lock arrow on it is actually in the direction of unlock. I believe that might be um, that might even be homaging uh, an original mistake on on uh, a Seiko back in the day. Don't quote me on that, but um, it would be interesting if that was the case, because otherwise that's a fairly glaring error. Uh, Anyway, screw down crown. It's a little bit grainy, I can't lie. Got the hack on the NH35. It's got that red crown tube as well, so when you're screwing down, if you can see red, keep screwing. There we go. But very solidly built. Going into the dial a bit more. Applied markers throughout. Polished date frame. Applied Merkel logo. There you go, get the light there. Uh, some printed text as well with the model name and the stated water resistance 300 meters. Minute track printed on the rehort. Handset, you can see we've got that kind of quasi cathedral hour hand. 
arrow with syringe tip, minute hand needle second hand with the loomed counterbalance. Uh, everything is a kind of flat matte black apart from the from the white the white stem on the second hand there. Fantastic length. Look at that second hand right out beyond the extremities of the dial. Minute hand right out there as well. Hour hand, it's a bit stubby, it's a bit short, but I guess on a dial star watch the hour hand is probably the least needed of all of the hands. Uh, just focusing on the case. Obviously brushed and polished surfaces. A circular brush on the upper surfaces. Lovely polished flanks and a cheeky little chamfer on the edge as well. Which is a nice touch. All in all, a very well finished case. Now if you have a look at the profile of the case as well, there is a nice a nice curvature. And in order to fit the case back on, they've had to recess it into the case quite heavily on either side there. And from the moment I first saw this watch, I thought that is a haven for accumulation of not very nice stuff. And um, that would be the case. Okay, uh, on my right wrist, I'm probably seven and a quarter inches here. Wears fantastic, as all these kind of turtle shapes do. Sits nice on the wrist as well because it's got that curvature. Proper job. I suppose we can take a look at the luminescence as well whilst we're here. There you go. I mean, loom is loom is okay. The hand certainly better than the um, the markers or indeed the loomed bezel insert. Uh, that's just from the kind of ambient lights in here. If I give it a little blast then I guess that's, you know, that's what it could be, initial blast wise, that loom up to 20 minutes, uh, again, feeding into that kind of dive standard where you'd be under, under for 20 minutes max on a kind of general dive. Everything else loomed pretty well. It's, um, it's okay when charged up uh, with ambient lights, it's, you know, it's passable. So goods and bads, certainly the uh, that crystal is just lovely. Do like a dome sapphire, I have to admit. Uh, bezel action is nice. There you go. Sometimes a little a little rock back, but once it's there, it's it is super solid. And of course it is, because I did say earlier, this is a kind of XL turtle style. It is uh, super grippy, pretty high. And even though I don't wear it on it, the strap is, um, I think something crazy, like they sell these for 60 or $70 a pop on the website, these straps. And now I'm not sure about that, but it's, it is some crazy material that they're using there. Nice strap, bad things. 
My crown action, as I said, is a little bit greeny. A little bit rough. Always kind of, you know, freaks me out a little that. And of course that case back where it's recessed into the case. Yeah, that's a bit of a gunk repository. However, in total, I think I paid, I think they are two, four, nine dollars, these watches. I remember I picked up with a $50 discount code. They are floating around somewhere. So 199, which is about 160 pounds. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's fantastic. I think it wears well. I think it looks fantastic. Um, it's obviously very well made, notwithstanding the slightly grainy crown. But yeah, shout out to the Ocean Master from Merkor. And this is Rush Watches and Things. I'll see you in the next one.